Hello family, how you all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. On today's video, I want to share something deeply important with you all. Recently, I witnessed two tragic cases where patients succumbed to tetanus infection. Tetanus is a severe and potentially deadly infection caused by a bacteria called Clostridium tetani. This bacteria enters the body through um, a wound or a cut, especially a deep wound or infected wound. And when you are infected with this kind of um, bacteria or tetanus, there are some symptoms you will experience such as muscle stiffness, severe um, spasm, um, shortness of breath. It can as well lead to death. Why I brought up this vision is because I witnessed two cases. One is a young boy of about 14 years, only child of the parents, brought into the hospital, had a, in fact, unconscious. Already he can't talk, he's just lying down there lifelessly and, you know, jacking. When you want the light, irritate. When you go close to take the vitals, it will just, you know, as if somebody that has electric shock. Cannot it already stiff the neck, locked jaw, every all the sign, all the symptoms were there, and uh, every attempt to resuscitate this little child didn't work. That was how we lost him. And I also witnessed another one, a young man of forty something years, just by like that. And you will be when you are hearing the story of what happened. He just had a cord, couldn't do anything about it and just like that and the infection sets in so you, when you're looking at somebody it's like you'll be like chai something that's one thousand naira of going to maybe any health center in around you any health center you find yourself can do for you just give you this tt some of them may not even know what is tt or tetanus you ask them normally ask is there any injection given to you at the upper arm or something just to know, because we know that it's very, it's very important when there is a cut or a wound, because the sharp object may be infected with this bacteria. And if you did not give that TT, it can result to many things. It can result... Me, growing up, I witnessed my mom, whenever we have a cut, maybe coming back from the farm, she will rush us to, in fact, chemist, not even um, health center, chemist, they give, even health center. Just to make sure you have this city to protect yourself so i just want to beg you you now listening to me once you have it don't just die one year just don't just buy one year yet by it go pay me because you'll be looking at somebody you'll be like something that one thousand would have cost would have at least taken care of or even five on i know that the country is hard I know quite right. Even to get that 1,000 is something else now these days. But at least your life matters. Health matters a lot. If you have a cut, if you have a wound, make sure you go. I know when we were growing up, there is tetanus injection given to us. Yes, a vaccine is a vaccine given to us. Yes, but you're supposed to like take a booster dose every 10 years. Or when you have a wound or a cut, a severe wound or a cut. It's advisable for you to go and take that TT just to protect yourself. So please, I don't want, I beg, I don't want to be doing CPR, to be into, you know, country is hard. There is no even enough food to eat, to have the energy for someone to be doing P, uh, CPR like that. Nah. So please, save, save yourself. Prevention is better than anything. So please, once you have a wound, once you have a cut, please go and take your tetanus injection tetanus vaccine or whatever you call it tetanus vaccine tetanus vaccine tetanus injection tt any one you call it even if it's that uh, tetanus whatever the people in that field will understand what you, what you came to do please prevent because when you see a, a, a man of 40 something years buying just you not as you say tt be like have and you ask some will even bring their child to the hospital and you will say that from day one from the time you gave birth to that child to maybe 11 years you've not been taking that child to immunization 
which is very wrong. So please, once you have a wound, once you have a cut, go and take your TT. Don't say, oh, this wound is fresh. Um, the bacteria cannot set in. I'm using hot water to massage it or to, you know, press it and all the rest. No. Even as you're doing that, fine and good, but go and take your TT. Witnessing such such um, thing, something you would, you would have avoided with maybe 500 or 1000 is you can even if you're even the child if you're even the mother of that child because of maybe 500 or 1000 you lost your child i know you will the, the the that trauma will be there for for a long time let me not say for life because you will be you'll be telling yourself this is something i would have avoided so please to prevent this kind of scenario if you need to get um, a booster dose Please try and get it, which comes after 10 years. Please try and get it. If you have a, in fact, get vaccinated. If you have, if you have a cold or a wound, please go and take the TT. Go and take it. Then let us do our part and leave the rest for God. If you do everything, if you do what you're supposed to do and uh, it's the will of God for things to happen, fine. You say, thank God, I've done my part. You know, there are some people you will see in the hospital, they've done everything, pay money, care, and, and after everything, their they are, they are relation, their, you know, patients just buy. You tell them, you console them and say, you try your best. And when you tell somebody you did your part, you did your part, you tried your best, yes, that person will say, okay, fine. Humanity, I've seen that I've tried. And leave the red, this is the act of God. So, that's all I have for you. Bye.